Oh my god. Hey, what up guys? It's your boy. I bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, got another great video for you guys today. Regarding the legendary sidearm, the lonesome, that you get from playing from the Gambit gameplay list. Hey, but before we get into it, guys, do me a favor, like this video, share a comment on it. Also, if you're new to the channel, if you like great PvP content, weapon reviews, how-to videos, a little bit of Destiny 2 news and PvE as well, this is definitely the channel for you, so go ahead and click that sub and notification bell. But if not, you guys watching this is enough, man. I appreciate the support. So yeah guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get into a guide for this guide role guide I'm gonna go over some of the possible roles that you can get also the role that I have then I'm gonna give you guys some gameplay with editing only where there's uh, no action so let's go ahead and get into it to get the lonesome you could get it several ways by playing any of the gambit uh, playlists also I found that you could get it from Hathorn at the tower when you're collecting your legendary engrams uh, now there may be more ways to get this but those are the ways that I know so let's get into some of the stats okay it has an impact of 51 a range of 62 a stability of 48 has a handling of 40 a reload speed of 29 now this is a 260 round per minute uh, 12 in the magazine now here are some stats that you don't see it has an aim assist of 86 which is very high guys it has a recoil of 90 which is very awesome It's real good now it does have a 10 uh, bounce intensity so this gun does tend to shoot to the left guys so be aware of that when you're using this gun right, so let's take a look at my lonesome now all of them are precision frames this weapon recoil pattern is more predictably vertical now mine comes with full bore for increased range a little uh, decreases stability and handling uh, also polygoning or rifling uh increased stability so these are real two good barrels now i was blessed to get these two magazines because these are the two best uh in the game to me other than accurized rounds uh and that's high caliber rounds which slightly increase range and knock, knocks enemy back farther. I apologize. Also, ricochet rounds increase stability and a slightly increase the range. So you get two for the price of one. Also, Zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases stability. And also, I have multi kill clip reloading grants increase damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. Now, I do have some other lonesome rolls, but this is my best one. And it has a stability masterwork. And I put Icarus grip on it because I tend to fly a lot in the air with my warlock so when i am using my warlock i like to put this mod on uh also uh it does come with an ornament that i have called out of place uh and then also here is the shader if you are wondering looking for a curated role it does come with polygonia rifling which add plus 10 to stability also for the magazine you have extended mag uh which adds a negative 20 to reload speed but plus 30 to the magazine size now for the trait one it has overflow picking up special or heavy ammo reloads this weapon to beyond normal capacity and then also lastly for the last trait that has swashbuckler this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon so here are some of the random rolls of for the lonesome and this gun has some of the best perks of any sidearm that i have seen so far in destiny 2 all right so let's get into the barrel you have small bore plus seven to range plus seven to stability course screw rifling at plus five to range plus five to handling plus five to stability you have hammer forge rifling which add plus 10 to range also a extended barrel which add plus 10 to range plus 10 to regal now it does add a negative 10 towards handling but still a pretty decent uh barrel now let's get into these magazines okay high caliber rounds shot from this weapon knock target back farther it slightly increases your range by plus five next you have ricochet rounds increased stability by by plus uh, five and then all no by plus ten I'm sorry and then range by plus five very good and then you also have a uh, light mag which add plus five to range and plus ten to reload speed now let's look at some of the best traits okay you have Zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases its stability uh, and what I love about this it also comes with full auto 
It also comes with Outlaw. Precision kills greatly decrease reload time and rapid hit. Rapid precision hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed. Now let's look at trait number two. As you see, multi-kill clip. Reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. You also have regular kill clip. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage. It also comes with Swashbuckler, which was one of my favorite. Uh, this weapon gains increased damage from main melee kills and kills with this weapon you also have opening shot improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack and then also you have slide shot sliding partially reloads this weapon magazine and temporarily boosts its range and stability like I said the lawsome has some great perks on it but if you're looking for a guy roll the perfect roll i would say hammer and forge rifling for the barrel for the magazine high caliber rounds or ricochet rounds either one is good or hopefully you get both for the magazine i would go with rapid hit because rapid precision hits increase stability and reload speed and for the last trait I will go with swashbuckler this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon and or I would say kill clip reloading after a kill increases its damage I would go for a range masterwork more for PvP maybe PvE more stability but for PvP you're going to be going against hand cannons pulse rifles other sidearms so range is very important important and I would throw whatever mod that you want to throw on it that make you feel comfortable. Yeah, so in this video I'm going to be going with Top Tree Dawn Blade. Also here is the stats on my Warlock. Here is the build if you guys are wondering what I'm rocking with. Also the Lonesome. We're using Symmetry also to play the game. And we're about to get into this gameplay but right before we do guys we just clicked over 2,000 subscribers and this is a young channel man and we're moving pretty fast so I just want to say thanks to you guys for all the support and keep supporting your boy all right guys so let's get into this gameplay with commentary and there's gonna be editing only where there's no action <laughs> oh, he was about to die. <laughs> Woo! 
The Jinxin scribes call everyone so they can witness you. One minute. Time to prove yourself. <laughs> You're beaten. This time. <laughs> Doing that bagging. Oh, Never spunked us in a fifth or sixth player.